Hello guys, today I want to tell you about two exciting new features that were released just yesterday in Laravel 10.15 related to real SQL queries running under the hood of eloquent statements. And let me demonstrate. So for example, you have an eloquent query. This is a query I've been preparing for a future video for polymorphic relations. And when running that query, you're curious what SQL query is running under the hood for debugging purposes or performance purposes. So I will show you how it was possible even before Laravel 10 for a long time. And then I will show you new things that were improved. So did you know that instead of get, you can do at the end of the query to SQL and then Instead of get, you can do dd that variable like this. And then instead of results of eloquent collection, if we load the page, we have something like this. So we have real query shown to us. Select where exists from groups and stuff like that. And then you can copy and paste that query into your SQL client and debug what is slow or what could be improved. Also, if you have multiple queries, you can do something like this. Before that query, do db facade, enable query log, and then get back to that get thing instead of to SQL. And instead of dd tasks, you could do dd from db get query log. So it will get all the queries to you. We refresh, and now we have array of queries. In our case, it's one query, but each query has query, bindings, parameters, and time executed. So this has more information to you than just to SQL. But now what was improved in 10.15 is working with these parameters with bindings. So before 10.15 in both to SQL and in the query log, there were question marks in the places of parameters of bindings. So this thing, this parameter and that parameter, all parameters to where statements were question marks. And in query log, you could potentially copy and paste those here into raw SQL to debug in SQL client, but it wasn't convenient. Now the things got improved. And this is the result of the great work by Tobias Petri. So he followed up on many attempts to do the same thing previously in those pull requests and finally solved that. And his pull request text is pretty long explaining a lot of things. And you can see the reaction from the community because he managed to eliminate those question marks by doing instead of to SQL. And then let's actually get back. So tasks, then DD tasks, the differences to raw SQL now. So you can run this and the result is the query with all those parameters included here, number here, number here. So you can literally copy paste to your SQL client without making any changes. A massive time saver for SQL debugging. And following up on that, let's get back to query log and then another pull request by Fuwasegu here, followed up and implemented the same thing in the query log. So instead of get query log, now we have get raw query log. And of course, we need to change to SQL to get. And now if we refresh the page, we have the same array of queries, but each query has two parameters now, two elements, not three. So we don't have bindings anymore. We just have the query again with all the parameters included in the SQL. One side note, kind of a warning. If you log those parameters somewhere, this may include some sensitive data for users like personal data, maybe even passwords, basically everything that comes from their request from the browser. So make sure you don't expose those queries somewhere inappropriate, that you're following all the good practices about privacy, GDPR, and everything related to that. I just wanted to make a notice on that. So great, great additions in 10.15 of Laravel. And if you want more news about Laravel, new features, I'm excited to present them to you. One new feature is also coming up tomorrow, so don't miss that one. And subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos daily on Laravel Daily. That's it for this time, and see you guys in other videos.